I'm influenced by listening to somebody that that I believe. If I can't, if I don't, if I don't believe the singer, I mean, like Mark stuff, like Lennox and stuff, like I, I believe him. Mm. You know, when he's when he's saying something, it doesn't really matter what it's about or who it's about or where it's came from. But I feel like part of that person exposed, and it makes me enjoy listening to it more because that's what music can do to you. And the same with the, you know, I mean. And to be honest, it, it could be Sigurat, you know, like, it could be gibberish. But the melody sometimes, or like what it's evoking, you know, and I try and do that with my voice. I definitely, and you know, maybe not so much in the early days of like, you know, singing with my band or whatever, but certainly in the last sort of 10, 15 years, I've been way more conscious of, about perfecting, you know, uh, what I can do with my instrument, with my voice, so that once I'm in the studio, I'm free to then really express it. Like, you know, I, I rarely go into a room on my own and sort of like do the vocals, if you like. I like to sing, you know, in a, in a space with speakers really loud and, you know, you know like a, a microphone in my hand and I can use my body as well. And, I definitely become more conscious of, of how I use my voice. And sometimes, you know, if I hear something back of myself where I've, I can see how I've really tried to sort of conjure up a, a, a treatment or something with my voice, I'm pulling away from that more now. And all the vocals on this, on this record were, you know, a lot of kind of, to be honest, like sort of, they weren't one take, but like, let's not mess around with things too much because it just, it came, it's, it was a really big part of the recording yeah. of the music, which was very different from how it worked before. Is I didn't want to pro tools the life out of the record. You know, it's very easy mm. now to make everything kind of perfect, and I wanted it to really be about takes. You know, from beginning to end, and to have that acceptance of like, you know, it's never going to be perfect. Like, we don't need to fix like all of this stuff. But you get a feel if you let somebody go from beginning to end, you get a feel like that you lose when you start cutting up and like doing all of that. I was like, you know, it's okay to leave the mistakes in, right? Because most people won't notice them anyway. And I was really, really conscious of that this time through. And I think you can hear it like in there. It feels very alive, like as you're going through. And um, <laughs> Martin said to me, the uh, bass player Martin was just like, um, he had that kind of big grin on his face. And he's like, man, he's like, you know, the guitar's playing this chord, the strings are playing this chord, and the organ's playing this chord. And, and Dave's all, singing something else. <laughs> yeah, and he, he's like, I'm not sure, you know, he's like, I'll just find, so he's like, it all sounds great, so. <laughs> you know? yeah. like, he was like, musically, I'm not so sure, but like, you know, um, he said, sonically, it all sounds great, let's just go with it. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's weird, you know, we, I think we spend so much time, you know, like, trying to, present something that is, you know, perfect. Uh, that, you know, you, with music, you know, you, you can really go too far with that. It wasn't like, oh, we're gonna make an album. No, not at all. all. It was just, let's write, you know, let's see what happens. That, that was the kind of thing, it was like, yeah, it could be one track, it could not work, it could be a few, you know, you just didn't know what, there was no plan. Just feel each other out and kind of see if it was gonna work. And instantly, I was like, okay. You know, I felt so comfortable with all this stuff. I really did. I felt like this was a natural place for my voice. It's funny, when I played some of the stuff to my brother, that's what, that's what his comment was, was. This was when we were just, went before it was even finished, but he was like, uh, it's, he was like, feels like it's a place where you're supposed to be, you know? Like, it's really, really works with your voice. Um, it, it does. It's like, it's a, you know, I, I sit in everything really well, and. It's a company. It's, I didn't have to work at it, you know. So. I'm kind of sad to stop like, yeah. at this point in time. Yeah. It's like it, it's uh -huh. like you know we're really just getting to know each other creatively like that. Like you know, I think um, it's the start of something, and mm. you know, with all, with all this stuff, I think it's the beginning of something, and uh, you know, hopefully we're going to get to continue that process, and uh, you know. I don't think it has to stop. I mean, the writing process, that when you're writing something, and I'm getting busy now with my band, but like, I can still, I still work on things. And 
sometimes when your head changes and you, you, you go to something else, it's difficult. And I had the luxury of really living this. I really lived this record, mm. uh, which was a really nice, nice experience to be able to do that.